Sinumbu, a peer court said Peter Obi cannot be disqualified for joining Labour Party leads. Mahmoud says, Do welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to the news. But you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. It is well known that Bola Tenumbu, the APC's presidential candidate, who was proclaimed the election's victor, has reacted to the legal petition Peter Obi of the Labour Party, LP, filed to contest his victory. In his petition to the courts, Tinumbu contended that Obi should be disqualified since his candidacy violated the Electoral Acts. According to Tinumbu, based on Section 77, Subsection 2 and 3 of the Electoral Acts, because Obi joined the party after it had already submitted its list of registered members to INEC, the Labour Party was not legally authorized to support him in the presidential election. However, a legal practitioner, Abdul Mahmoud, has stated that the issue of Peter Wubi not joining the Labour Party early enough has been before the Court of Appeal in a case involving the Allied People's Movement, APM, and Peter Obi. He said the appellate court in its ruling said Obi met the requirements of Section 131 of the Nigerian Constitution that states what qualifies a person to run for president so he can't be disqualified for not joining the Labour Party before its list of registered members was sent to INEC. In a video posted to YouTube by Aisha Yusufu, Mahmoud can be heard saying, the contention of APC is that as of when Peter Obi left PDP, the register of members of Labour Party had been submitted 29 days prior to when he left. So he was not a member of the Labour Party when he ran as an aspirant of the presidential primary of Labour Party. According to Section 131, Subsection 1C of the Nigerian Constitution, in order to run for president of Nigeria, a candidate must be a member of and sponsored by a political party. In a recent decision involving the Allied People's Movement, APM, against Peter Wubi, the Court of Appeal ruled that you cannot contract the requirements for qualification for President of Nigeria by using Section 77, Subsections 2 and 3. This decision relates to the issues of Section 131 of the Nigerian Constitution and Section 77 of the Electoral Acts. The Nigerian Constitution's Section 131, subsection 1c, lists the following as the only basis for eligibility. Do you belong to any political parties? If the res response is affirmative, you may object. Do you receive funding from a political party? If your response is affirmative, you may flee. Concerning the presidential election, whereby after the election, different crises has erupted, where Peter Obi has taken the APC, the presidential candidate Sinumbu, the first presidential candidate Shetima, and Ainek to the courts as first to fourth respondents.
Now, Tinumbu has also said that the appeal court is supposed to disqualify Peter Obi for joining the Labour Party leads. That before he joined the Labour Party, lists have been submitted to INEC. The list of registered members have been submitted to INEC that Peter Obi was not under any political parties when he was actually doing the premise. But the appeal court said Peter Obi cannot be disqualified based on the Electoral Acts of Section 131, Subsection 1C. And this has been in front of the courts by the APM, whereby they have, they have also written the petition concerning Obi, and that the Labour Party, as of the time it contested on the party's platform, lacks the local standing to challenge the outcome of the exercise. Tinubu also queried the competence of Obi's petition and prayed the courts to dismiss it. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? Do share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.